Okay, this method seems to be working. Um, three, two, six. Okay, let's try with the new workbook as well. Sheet eight. Okay. Now let's move on to edit box and then the checkbox should be simple after that. And after that I'll also show you some example on uh, contextual tabs. Okay, and then uh, maybe we can try some more examples after that. Uh, okay, so going back here. This are the edit box 1, 2 and this is 3 to show the total. Um, here, one thing to note here is like um, you must have seen by now that we cannot directly refer to these controls, so we have to uh, create our own objects, or you can do true members or um, through a property that you can create. Okay, so I'll demonstrate that now. Here, uh, on change this, okay, we can reuse this, and then we'll use one more callback. Let's call this get text. Uh, this would be always small letter Oops. okay this will be edit box get text We don't need on strings for this. So as soon as these two values changes, we want to calculate the total as well. So that's why we have on change event here, uh, callback, and then we don't need it for the total. Okay. Let's load this up first and see. that is because of the okay there is some error in this okay no issues so small things can cause big problems <laughs> uh, okay this is because we have not as generated the callback yet so these are the three ones okay so when we change the value here and he, uh, here or here, we want to calculate the total. Maybe we can also add one more button here to also manually calculate. Maybe we can add one more button here. Uh, da -da. Or not. Maybe we'll just put it here. Um. This will be calculate total. Let's quickly generate the callback for this one. Well, let's sign the calculation in a bit. And um, Let's create three members first up here. Uh, private. Let's call this um, double number. One as double. You can also set a number here if you want something like this. If you want to have a default number, which can be altered. Again. Um, For now, let's leave it as it is, like this. You can also assign all these values on startup here. Okay. Now let's create. Um, first, let's create a callback. This one is called get text. On change, I'm get back to this one. 
and here um, it has to be double and based on what control it's returned here it's gonna assign a value here like we did earlier um, so for this we have controls edit box 1 2 and 3 so if it is edit box 1 or 2 or 3 So this is where we're going to assign these members that we just created now. Uh, whatever values gets written there is going to be um, displayed here in the text box, OK? So we'll set the edit box to will be returned from this and then from the third one, here like that. Uh, and then let's quickly take care of uh, this cannot be string so maybe we can just assign so for the change this call edit box text change let's just recopy this And here there is one more parameter. Um, this will be by value. This name can be anything actually, but the parameters can be these two only. Okay. And here instead of return, we'll say um, this is equal to this. Whatever value is returned here. else nothing okay um, so whenever whenever any value gets changed in that text box in the edit box uh, this this particular member or this variable will be updated with the value that is entered in the edit box okay at that same time these values are going to be stored here and then when the text is here then we want to uh, it will automatically read from that member and here we can also uh, automatically set the value for this this plus this so 2 and 1 now this is gonna error if the value is in text so you can put the handler yourself and then again we have to and validate um, there's a miss there that's a bit three okay now let's start it up so the default value that was set here is being read and then the chain seems to be working okay now we can take care of the total as well so when the oops just give me one second when this total is being clicked calculate total code is gonna run this code so instead of message box we can have this for now I'm gonna disable the automatic recalculation part here so this is how you're gonna read and write to the value okay my window is open so 22 24 okay on change has been disabled and then I mean the value has been written to the variable but uh, it's not automatically calculated here so this button is supposed to do that now so this is how you can read the value and then write to the control okay